Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about kinetic typography and how to make it in After Effects. Here's what you're going to make today. Okay, so that's kinetic typography. So let's get started and open up After Effects. Choose a new composition. And I've got mine to the standard widescreen, so 720 by 480. And the duration I've put is 3 minutes 20, which I think is the length of the song. And click OK. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to import our music. So go to File, Import, File and choose your music and click open and then drag it into your timeline down the bottom so now this puts our music here and we can skim through by holding apple and dragging this across okay the next thing we're going to want to do is just simply type out our text but the text needs to be on uh, separate layers because we're going to edit them individually later if you go to your text icon at the top and then type out the words you need. To uh, quickly put them onto separate layers type out your word, hold apple and press enter and that saves that text layer and starts a new one. Okay so you want to do each scene individually so this is going to be my first sentence. Okay, so you're going to want to sync that up with the audio now. Like I said, you can skim through your music. You've got to listen carefully for the I first. Okay, just about there. Interesting feature with this, if you hold Apple and drag this and then hold it it gives you a loop okay so there's I so you click and drag the red bar from I and drag it to your red line and do the same with each word there's C So once we've done that, we can just do a little RAM preview to see if it worked. So if we click on this icon here, RAM preview. Okay, so the eye came in a little early, so we're just going to move that across. So once we've done that, we're going to pre-compose it and then do our next scene. We pre-compose it so we can edit it later. So to pre-compose, highlight all your layers, go to layer and pre-compose. Okay, so that's put it in a little group there so we can edit it later. I'm going to crop this down to where it needs to be which is there okay and now we can do the next sentence and again we're going to do the same again sync it all up with the music and pre-compose it Okay, so do another brand preview. Let's see if it all works. It's fine. So we're going to pre-compose that again. Select them all. Go to layer and pre-compose.
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is compose our layers. So in Comp 1, if we click on our grouped layer, I see you driving around town, which is our first layer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just put them in an interesting position. Uh, you can do this now. Okay, so do another round preview, see if it looks any good. Hopefully you can do a better composition than I have. Alright, excellent. A few features I should point out. This down here uh, continuously rasterizes um, your text so it keeps it as a vector because obviously as the RAM preview you've just seen is quite pixelated um, but if we don't want this we can click on here and it will constantly vectorize the text and give it a sharper look and as well we can click on this icon here this turns your text into 3D layers uh, this will help us out later when we're moving the camera around um, it just simply means if you put all these on that your text are now uh, 3D so you can move them into the foreground, background and flip them around as if they were a 3D object and this next one as well is a motion blur this will give it a really nice effect when it's uh, rendered out Give it a nice little motion blur. Okay. So once your text is composed the way you want it, we're going to go in and edit it further and animate it. So if we double click into the first layer composition, I want the driving to zoom in from the right. So we click on the driving layer, and click P to get the position up moves it around well we could just um, click and drag it off oh maybe not oh yeah make sure you're on the selection tool we can drag it around probably easier so what we're going to want to do is zoom in and add a keyframe where driving starts so to do that click on the keyframe icon which is there click that and it'll put another dot there for us which is your first keyframe and now we're going to take this back three layers and drag just the end of the driving layer back those three layers and add another keyframe now to add this keyframe we click on this icon here to add the next keyframe this button adds our first keyframe and this one adds the rest that we want to put in if you click this one again it will start everything again it will get rid of the first keyframe we did so we click this one for the first one and then for the next ones we'll click this one okay so now we can move it so I want it to come in from the right so drag it off. So now from these three th three frames, it will come in from the right. Okay. Okay. So I want to do this for the next word, which is round. So I'll press P again to bring up position and add a keyframe, and then drag it back three layers, and click on the end and add an another keyframe, which is this icon again. Now this time I want it to come down from the top of the screen, so I'm just going to drag it up and off screen, and this will come down. Okay, now we'll do it again for town, press P, add 
add the keyframe. Go back three three frames and add another keyframe. And we'll drag it down this time. Okay, so if we just have a quick preview of that. Okay, that looks okay. Now we'll do it with the next group of layers. I'm only going to do this with the, the one word, love. Just put that back. Okay, so if I add a keyframe, and go back three layers. Add another keyframe, and I want this to zoom from off screen. So it looks like it's zooming past the viewer. Let's have a quick look at that. That looks okay. Okay, so we'll do another RAM preview. Okay, that looks okay.